praise the Lord. It is now the time to hear the word of God. And the word of God, when it comes to you, it is sharp. Hallelujah. It is going to cut through the marrows. Amen. I pray that tonight you are going to be blessed. Let us now stand and appreciate my sister in the ministry, one of our daughters in the house, hallelujah, appreciate Minister Stella as she comes to minister to us, hallelujah, amen, praise the Lord, praise the Lord again, before we speak, let us just have a short prayer, Jehovah Lord, thank you for this wonderful moment. as you please do the great thing. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Personally, I'm very grateful and I'm very happy that I'm standing in the presence of my Father and I thank God for it. So, we are in the month of changing with God. And change is a very good thing. And uh, I just want to come and uh, let God speak to us of how we can be able to change with him. Uh, for the people who are with us in uh, Kamulu, you, the preaching was really an eye-opener considering that we only have nine years left <laughs> for the coming of Christ's reign on earth. It really got me wondering, like, before Christ comes, what have I done that is in line with the purpose of God? Have I lived a life that is in the will of God, have I pleased him in ways that really make him happy? Because I don't want to wait for him to come so that I can live that life that pleases him. So it really, really opened my eyes personally. I don't know for you, but it was really a wonderful someone. So we are going to see the subtopic is how to let God change you. How to let God change you. And let us read from the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. It says, And be not conformed to, the, to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Let us not be transformed into the... Let us not be conformed to the patterns of this world. But let us always live a life that is according to God's will. Do you know that right now, Everything you need to be great in the sight of God. To be a successful Christian and to be the person God wants you. Sorry. Do you know that in you, in you right now is everything you need to be great in the sight of God? We really look down upon ourselves sometimes and we feel like, we are nothing. But I just want to you this evening to assure you that everything that you need to be is inside of you. The person who lives in you is greater than the one of this world. Praise God. Praise God again. I've come here to encourage you that you are equipped you are blessed, you are talented, and you are empowered. 
but it is up to me and you to bring it out and how do we do this how do we make sure that we bring out the best in us the bible says god transforms you into a new person by changing the way you think it is all in the mind when you let go of small thinking and when you stop limiting god then you will open up your life to your dreams and the fullness of god's blessings in your life so we should stop thinking very low about ourselves praise god praise god again but first you have to shut up those comments those comments that others have said hawezi wewe ni like they belittle you people talk about you people tell people say negative things about you so you need to shut those comments in your mind and focus on what god says about you you have to replace them with what, with what god says about you and then they transformed and changed you is going to be released and amazing new person will take place and then you will start seeing the blessed you the prosperous you the confident you and the talented you so i just want to encourage us this evening that on the inside of each and every one of us we were all created in the image of god and who is god god is a perfect person we are not perfect but if we are created in the image of god then it means we have greatness inside of us so we are going to see the ways of how to let god change us and the first point is we need to focus on what god says we can do focus on what god says we can do from the book of romans chapter 8 verse 5 niv book of romans 8 verse 5 niv says those who live according to the sinful nature have their mindset on what that nature desires but those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mindset on what the spirit desires so if we focus on the sinful nature we attract what we are everything you do if you if you are focused on the negativity of life you attract negativity of life you attract negative negative things will start coming into your life but if you are a focused person and a positive person then you have, you, you will attract positive things in your life and the bible says that that those who live according to the sinful nature have their mindset on on what that nature desires but for those who live in accordance with the spirit the spirit that is in us then our mindset is on is set on what the spirit desires my fellow christians we are not to be limited by negative thoughts we are not to be restricted by narrow thinking about things i cannot do but instead be led by what god wants you to what god wants to accomplish in you stop having those negative thoughts about you but start transforming your mind you're given opportunities each and every day that you wake up is a new day and god's mercy is a new every day so we are encouraged to have positive minds every day when you wake up just speak something positive about you speak something something positive about yourself and you will see that the whole day you will attract positivity in you this negative thinking leads to negative talking and negative talking leads to conflict negative talking leads to conflict it leads to frustration and anger personally i have I've seen that like you you wake up and uh, you you're you're in very low spirit 
and the person that the first person that you you meet your soul your spirit is not in line with you so you tend to have that negativity towards that person and maybe how are you say and that day if you don't repent or if you don't if you don't go and engage yourself into prayer you'll find that the whole day you'll just have a bad day so it is really good uh, and it is really really important that we focus on positive thinking and also we focus let us set our eyes on the lord and the lord will help us because without god we are nothing we need to focus on god whatever you want just ask god i've come to realize that there is no human being who can give me what i want it is only god who can give me what i want if i want a better life no 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 job can give me that but god can give me that the lord says seek ye first the kingdom of god and the rest shall be added unto you so let us always focus on god and tell him what you want because we serve a big god a god who owns everything in this world hakuna kitu ambao utauliza mungu na atakosa kukupatia as long as you're in obedient you're an obedient servant of god and you're in line with his will because what i've come to realize is whatever we want if it is not according to god's will we can go just and i've always told myself i want that is my desire to to drive a range rover but i always pray to god and tell him i do want a range rover but if it is not your will give me something that is according to your will even christ said father father remove the, this cup from me but if it is not your will so if christ can say that to his father what about me so i've come to understand that when we pray if you want a, a if you want a peaceful life because we we have expectant hearts from god we want a lot of things from god but when you align your will with his will and the only way that you can do that is letting him change your mind letting him change your will and if it is aligned with him then whatever you get you'll be so much you'll you'll, you'll really appreciate and you you'll be at peace praise the lord it is my prayer that may god protect us from negativity the book of proverbs chapter 4 uh, sorry chapter 4 verse 23 says proverbs 4:23 proverbs 4:23 above all else guard your heart for it is the well spring of life if we fill our heart with hatred with negativity with anger you're giving the devil a place to dwell in your heart and your heart belongs to god if you're born again you're a child of god you have no place the devil has no place in your life and that is what the bible tells us in proverbs 4 chapter 23 that above all else let us guard our hearts for it is the well spring of life when you think things are never going to change when you think things are never getting better then that kind of thinking determines your course of action focus on what god says he can do we know that our father is not a liar for him to lie you know of his promises in his eternal book he has promised us a lot of things and when you pray according to the promises that he has for you he will never lie he will always accomplish that one thing that i used to think was that my my greatness comes from a person like for me to be great let's say in at work i'll give you an example you're working and uh your roho yako yote iko like i have to work hard so that my boss can give me that promotion i have to there are people who really work hard but they never get promotion it is only god who can give you favor among the eyes of men So we need to know that if you want anything regardless of what people think about you because let me tell you one thing 
we are all destined for greatness god says i have good plans for you plans not to hurt you but plans to prosper you if god has good plans for us what can a mere human being say and no one can ever no one can ever shut blessings from god there's a video that was going around on whatsapp that no one can ever take your blessing away but god will make sure because god always sends someone he will not come down to give you your blessing he always sends someone if that person is not in line with his will he'll always replace someone he will do whatever it takes to make sure that your blessing reaches so it is just a matter of you having faith in him and never be jealous about the successful uh, the success of someone because when you kila mtu ako na bahati yake waswahili wanasema bahati ya mwenzako usilalie exactly because yako iko njiani inakuja hata kama utahama uende kamulu itakupata pale kamulu your blessings will always locate you so when you when you feel like you're going down when you feel like things are not happening the way you want and when you look at your friend things are moving things are okay and it is really really funny because as born again christian as a born again christian personally i have friends who are not born again but they are driving they are wanaishi kwa nyumba mzuri they have all the money but if i didn't know the promises that god has promised me i would have been stuck there sulking nikisema sasa mbona mimi namwabudu mungu na mimi sina lakini wale ambao wako kwa mungu wako nayo but what i've come to realize that the things of the world will never bring happiness but when you have that peace of mind right now as we are speaking there's someone there's a millionaire who's who ako kwa kitanda ya hospitali na ako na covid and he's dying what he doesn't know the, the only difference from you me and me and that person in hospital is hajui kuwa the only person who can save him from that uh, illness is only god yeye yeah, anategemea pesa yake lakini yule ambaye anamwaminia Mungu na kwa kitanda na anajua hii kitanda ni kwa hapa tu kwa muda lakini yule Mungu ambaye namserve he will heal me and I'll get out of out of this uh, uh, deathbed is much better so let us know the father that we serve let us know i i, I want to give you a challenge like let take a time take, take 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 a personal time and get to know the father that you serve your personal father and when you know that you will understand and nothing of this world will ever put you down praise god praise god again point number 2 let us change our thoughts change our thoughts change our thoughts from the book of romans chapter 12 verse 2 romans chapter 12 verse 2 it says and be not conformed to the to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god we saw that in the beginning when you are when we were on the beginning of this sermon and that goes together with my point when we change our thoughts we always focus on positive thinking when we change our thoughts it will give you space to focus on jesus we are living in the end times and jesus is coming back very soon and uh, i was really shocked because <laughs> when um, he's, a, he's an apostle eh? when apost- the apostle was preaching and uh, he said that the antichrist will come from the muslim community <laughs> i was really really shocked and i really thanked god i 
that night I slept thanking God that I was once a Muslim. And having been born again, I wasn't born a Muslim, I was born a, a Christian. And it's really funny because they also say that the Pope is the Antichrist, but not the Antichrist. So I, I, I was born a Christian. I went to a Catholic school. I was baptized a Catholic. I was confirmed a Catholic. And we used to pray to Mary. <laughs> it is so ironical that those two empires, I have gone through those two empires. But I came to realize that if God has purpose for you, he will get you out of that darkest place. And he will redeem you. And now I can proudly stand before my father and say that I am. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. I am so thankful and it is such a pity that people don't know this. So if you have, if you have someone, if you have a friend who's a, who's a Muslim, if you have a friend who's a Catholic, kindly take it upon yourself to pray for them. Because we can only advise, but we can never change. Change is only left for God. God is the only person who can change us. So let us take it upon ourselves to pray. Not only friends or family, but also just take it upon yourself to pray for the Muslim community. There are Muslim people who are converting into, into Christianity each and every day. So your prayer can make a difference. Let us start thinking about other people because we want when the rapture happens we want the number to exceed the number that is going to hell let us take it upon ourselves to mind about our, our friends let me not say our muslim brothers because we are not brothers <laughs> so think about how how do you please god how do you please god that's a question that we should ask ourselves we are called to the beautiful business and joyful work, the wonderful duty and faithful obedience of Christ. God has created us to rise above everything and everyone. You are created to rise above everything and above everyone. To succeed where, the, where others have failed. You'll find that you're in, you're, you're, you're in, a, in an office setting. There are people who have been given promotion and they don't have degree. I want to makaratas is a degree, but because you serve your God, you pray, you, you walk with God, you obey God, God can take you from here to there. It doesn't matter kama umenda shule, kama ujenda shule. If you know your God and if you know the power that is in your father, then nothing is impossible. Trust me, even if you want to be the next president of Kenya, that is not impossible with God. Because we serve a living God, we serve a powerful God, and we serve a God who impossible is not in his word. You are called to excel where others have not done well. You have been called to stand out and surpass what others have left undone. You have been called to outlive the you that you can't. And you will never amount to anything. You know the way people say that you can't do this. That you ne will never measure up to anything. Like wewe huwezi, sasa wewe ni nani. But if you know your father, trust me. And I love the way God always ashame your enemies. So I listen to and imefika mahali umeweza now they are they are they are they are they are, they are dumb because they don't know what to say wamenyamaza and that's why i love that song that says ombe adu yako ili aishi miaka mingi ili unapobarikiwa ajione kwa ma kwa macho so let us not focus on the negative comments that you get from other people because if you were to focus on those negative comments, trust me, how kuapo. But it is just God's grace and mercy that we are here. Personally, 
me if you want if you'd have told me like two to three years ago that I will be stand I'll, I'll be standing here preaching hata mimi sauti yangu ningejambia mimi preaching how but i thank god i thank god because just working for him letting him use me it really brings so much satisfaction satisfaction that i felt that nothing has ever given me praise god praise god again one thing i i just want to assure you this evening that you are not who people say you are but you are who god says you are let that voice let that word sink in you anytime someone tries to put you down just say to yourself i'm not what other people say i am but only who god says i am point number 3 get rid of the wrong progr- programming that has been put in you get rid of the wrong programming that has been put in you from the book of judges chapter 6 verse 13 judges chapter 6 verse 13 Judges chapter 6 verse 13 And Gideon said unto him O oh my lord if the lord be with us why then is all this befallen us Give me an IV sorry an IV But sir Gideon replied if the lord is with us why has all this happened to us Where are all his wonders that our fathers told us about when they said did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt but now the Lord has abandoned us and put us into the hands of Midian That happens in our life You've been serving God you've been so faithful to God and then tragedy strikes and then you start asking yourself i've been so faithful i've been coming to church every day i've been praying every day i've been doing this and this i've been obedient then why is all this happening to me that is the kind of programming that you need to get rid out of your mind everything happens for a reason and what i know is whatever bad happens in your life that is not god's will upon your life We live in a fallen world and li- having living having having li- uh, being living in this world we cannot control some things that happen the devil will always try to come and steal your joy but when you focus your eyes on god god will turn those ashes into beauty god will always turn any negative things into positive things it is just for you to look upon god and i just want to encourage us because we are living in a time whereby you are very we are very afraid unaogopa ukitoka nje ukirudi unaweza kuwa na corona that was me a few months ago when when corona started but i came to realize nimeogopa corona sana mpaka na nasahau ule mungu mwenye i serve the god that i the god that i serve is a god who is much bigger than coronavirus so why should i focus my focus on corona instead of focusing there wacha nieke macho yangu kwa mungu na the moment i do that and i give him my all like all my worries all my fear if i give it to him your father will always protect you Saizi hatuna mask. Tumekaa hapa hatuna mask lakini uh, isn't your god protecting you? Umetoka umekuja like Henry amekuja. Henry amepanda matatu. Ume saizi matatu ziko zimerudi full capacity. Jana alikuwa anatoka Ruiru tumekalishwa watu wanne kwa Nissan. You can imagine. Hiyo mask peke yake cannot save me. but just getting out of that house and telling god father you are the father that i serve coronavirus is not my portion as i go i'm going out with you and as i come i'm coming back with you 
So if you live in me, corona cannot be in me. And when you say it with confidence and faith, and you believe that, trust me, and it shall be, you shall come to testify that corona itakuja itapita na wewe hautakuwa, hautashikwa na iyo ugonjwa. So just focus on God. Stop having, stop, okay, we, we, we are raised in such a, we've been programmed in such a way that when something bad happens, a lot of people tend to think that Bona mungu alikubali kafanyika. As I can give an example, ya, uh, it's okay, Henry. <laughs> I can give an example of uh, our our um, dear sister Priscilla. What happened to her if she was not a born again a born again Christian? Okay, if she was a born again Christian but with little faith, ange kufuru na anze kutusi mungu wake akisema yani mimi nimekuwa mwaminifu i give out my tithe i give everything but angalia nimechomekewa everything went totally everything the way job lost his family that's how priscilla lost everything but in those ashes see we saw ashes elder when we got when we went to her place we saw ashes tukona mpaka mitungi imechomeka vitu zenye hatujai jua zinachomekanga zote zilikuwa zimechomeka it was totally ashes she did not salvage even one thing ile nguo ambayo alikuwa amevaa peke yake ndio yenye alimanage ku save but didn't god turn those ashes into beauty i've not gone personally to see her new house but i'm very sure it's a very very beautiful house so we should take that example and understand that Every ash that we have in our life, just give God time and God will turn those ashes into beauty. Personally, I've gone through a lot of ashes. If I start telling you, Penye Mungu Amenitoa, most of you will cry because it has been from the deepest, deepest ashes. But I know and I trust God's process because God's time is the perfect time. It is only for you to have patience. And sometimes that patience runs out. But the father that we serve is a well of patience. Just go back to him and tell him, give me that patience so that I can wait upon your time. Because your time is the perfect time. So, but Gideon said, I am so nervous. I feel so ab abandoned by God. Where is the Lord of our ancestors? Why has God forsaken us and given up on me? And Gideon was a Christian just like you, but an a question mungu. But he was just a human being like us. He wasn't perfect. We only know that Christ Jesus was the only perfect person. So sometimes you'll get such questions running into your mind. But the only proper thing to do is to counter those thoughts with positive thoughts. Encourage yourself in Christ. That the one that lives in you is greater than the one that lives in the world. And if he lives in me, he knows what I'm going through. One thing we don't understand is that every situation we go through, God is going through the same situation with you. Ukilia he feels your pain. When you're broke, you don't know where your next meal is. He knows what you're going through. But when you rely on him, when you believe in him, you will never go hungry. Isn't that true? Because on a same come on, Ezra, if he can feed the birds of the air and you are created by on his own image, you are much more greater than the birds of the air. So he will provide for you. All you just need to do is just have faith. They say that the devil, you see the enemy wants to keep you thinking negative, wants to keep you having, wants to make you to have those negative thoughts all the time. Because they say the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. That's his main purpose. That, that is what he wants Anataka kukupeleka ile kiwango enye yeye yuko. Ako pale chini. Na we uko hapa juu. So ataki kukuona kabisa ukiwa na furaha. 
he will always want to put you down but you have the right to step on him and tell him you have no right to come in my life and steal my happiness there's a movie that i watched it's called war room i would really advise for those of you who never watched to watch that it will give you the power you know the way we talk to god i i i with time i came to realize that as i'm standing here god is with me as you're seated there god is with you because god is with everyone everywhere god is omnipresent so the way you talk to your friend is the way god wants you to talk to him because ukiwa na rafiki the way jen and uh, frida you guys are friends you share things you talk about things you are comfortable frida you're comfortable talking to jen and jen is comfortable talking to you isn't it so you will tell her anything anything that your heart desires that is the way god wants you to do anataka umuongeleshe umwambie zile vitu zote zenye see at hajui god knows what you're going through but he loves when you open up from the bottom of your heart sincerely and tell him that god aki sina rent and you know you don't have to have a formula to talk to god kama ni sheng you understand sheng better god understands sheng If you want to talk to him in Kikuyu, he understands Kikuyu. If you want to talk to him in Swahili in English, he understands. Just sit him down. Mwambie siku moja mkalishe pale chini na umwambie, "Eh, hey, Henry, mwambie aki nimekosa fare ya kwenda kanisa, ya kwenda church on Sunday." And just wait and see if God will not send someone to give you that money. Utatukania tu mpesa pap ndio yeye imeingia. That is the kind of relationship that God wants us to have. And trust me if you have that relationship you will never go wrong because prayer is a conversation with God people believe that prayer lazima ni iname chini nipige magoti niombe in such a formula i have to come out with my best english ni muombe ama na kiswahili sanifu ama ni ni, ni make sure nimepiga magoti nikimwomba no even when you're just sleeping you can just say god i welcome you to sleep with me so that I, sh- i i will not have any bad dreams i welcome you into eating with me let's have the communion together as you walk out just hata kama watu watakuita wewe ni mwendazimu na jiongelesha kwa barabara you know the god that you're talking to and that is the type of relationship that god wants us to have because the only thing that will take you to heaven it is your relationship with christ That is also one thing that most people don't know. If you if you if you if you get born again and you 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 go back to your normal life at because you you've been saved that that is the that is your gate pass to heaven. No. God wants a relationship and an intimate relationship. God is jealous. We serve a jealous God. Ataki uweke pesa mbele, anataka umweke mbele. Na ukimweka mbele, the desires of your heart if it is money that you want, he'll give you the money that you want. If it is a good house that you want, God will give you that. So usikae uangalie uko na shida na shangao. Mm, mbona mimi ni mkristo na shida ziniachi? It's because you don't have a relationship with Christ. Wewe wewe I would let me give an example of Frida and Jane. Before Jane before before you talk to Jane, talk to God first. Anataka umweke mbele before Jane. Now Jane, put God first before you put Frida. Shamim, you're my sister. Before you come and tell me your issues talk to God first. And then come and talk to me. That is what God wants. That is what God wants you to have. And when you do that, you're being in obedient to his ways. Praise the Lord. The enemy wants to program us for defeat. The enemy also says this problem is never going to end. Those are the things that he'll tell you. He says this temptation is too big for you to overcome. That temptation is too big for you to overcome. He doesn't want you to break out. He wants to keep you sliding backward. Umetenda dhambi badala u repent. Anataka kukurudisha nyuma because anakwambia hai 
hiyo dhambi umefanya ni kubwa hata una aibu kwenda kanisa then unakaa pale unajiambia ai ni ukweli mimi na feel ni mimi ni mchafu mbele ya Mungu si leo nikae tu nyumbani unakaa leo next Sunday ikifika bado tuko na kale kaaibu unakaa tena nyumbani that is what the devil wants he wants to put you down Haamini alitupwa kutoka jua kaletwa chini. So anataka pia kukweka pale pale chini na yeye mkae pale. He wants to keep you sliding backward to not grow and to not mature. But we li- we serve a forgiving father. We serve a forgiving father, a loving father, a compassionate father. A father who loves you the same today, tomorrow, yesterday, today and tomorrow. One thing I came to love is that hata nikitenda dhambi dhambi God does not love me less mapenzi yake haishukangi He will still love you and what pleases him ni hata ukitenda dhambi and just come back to him and tell him God you know I'm not perfect and God loves it when you humble yourself before him Mwambie tu unajua it's good it will be easy when you talk to him and tell him by the way you know nime, nime danganya tena and then another thing people don't know is hakuna dhambi ndogo <laughs> ukidanganya leo na mtu auwe leo you in the same shoe so that is what i'm also preaching to myself because sometimes you unapata unadanganya na unafikiria hey mimi yake mimi ni mimi am better off than ule mwenye aliua mwenye tunaonanga kwa TV ameua bibi na na watoto unaona eh unaanza kujudge sasa huyu anafikiria anaua aje na wewe unadanganya aje why can't you look at yourself we are so quick to judge people telling them eh hey, kenye umefanya ni mbaya hata utamadvise umwambie eh hey, kenye umefanya ni mbaya ni mbaya na wewe anajua ulimdanganya lakini wewe unaona dhambi yako ni ndogo lakini yake ni ku ni kubwa. We need to understand that all sins are the same in the eyes of God. So let us just learn. Na usingoje ifike usiku ndoambie Mungu akipole nilidanganya. When because you have the Holy Spirit living in you, once you do something that is not of God, that ka voice will always tell you. It will always itakuhukumu, itakwambia wewe mwenyewe like Even your spirit won't be out of feel vizuri. So just learn to ask God, I'm sorry for this. Najua kinimemdanganya but God forgive me. Learn to always humble yourself before God and tell God you're sorry. May God protect us from the lies of the enemy. May God really protect us from the lies of the enemy. Because sometimes those lies They, they sound like they are so comforting until we lose sight of the father that we serve praise god Gideon was called to lead against opposing uh, an opposing army the angel speaks to him and says you are a mighty man of fearless courage i am convinced that Gideon looked around aliangalia akasema mimi how Are you talking about me? Gideon was afraid. Gideon was intimidated. But God didn't call him for what he was. God called him for what he could become. So we look down upon ourselves na jiambia, let's say personally, <laughs> when pastor told me I'm going to minister today, it keeps on happening to me every time. So na jiambia, hey, sasa nitasema nitaomba nini nita preach nini nita naji i look down on myself najiambia will i manage okay i give an example agnes uh, pastor akwambie on sunday uta minister i'm very sure she will be so atajiangalia jichukia jembe sasa mimi nitaambia watu nini but when pastor tells you that it is not pastor appointing you it is god appointing you so never look It. never look down upon yourself always let god work in you because that is what gideon said me are you talking about me but god called him for what he could become 
So get rid of the wrong programming in your life and let God do his perfect will in your life. Praise God. Praise God again. The last point is see the potential of what you are created for. See the potential of what you are created for. The book of Ephesians 3.20 Ephesians 3.20 Ephesians 3.20 now to him who is able to immeasurably uh, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us you might feel weak but god calls you to be strong amen you might feel weak but god sees a strong person you might feel intimidated, but God calls you to be confident. You might think you can't do, but God says that you are able. So these are the things that I want you to start practicing to, to tell yourself. People will tell you that you cannot do, but just know that God sees someone who is able. People will see a weak person, but just know that you are strong. Praise God. If the angel of the Lord appeared to you today, what would he say? He will say, are you a mighty? He will say, you are a mighty person of fearless courage. Because that is who God sees you to be. God doesn't see your limitations. God doesn't see your, your weakness. God doesn't see your, your hangali, haonangi ile mabaya ambao na jionea wewe. God sees the positive in you. The angel will say, you are a mighty person of fearless courage. So I want you to get in agreement with God's purpose and plans for your life. He said, have good plans for you. So let us all get in line with his plans. And always anticipate for good plans. See, he's promised you. He's told you in his book, I have good plans for you. Then just look forward and forge forward and look towards his good plans. And always have a tendency of thanking God for the things that you're expecting. Don't wait until Zifiki and Yomambi Asante. If you're expecting for a good job, Mambia, thank you, Father, for that, for that good job. You've not seen it, but your faith will lead you into that good job. Always tell God, thank you for that good job. I always tell God, thank you for that Range Rover. But Akileta V8, Bado Pia Nisawa. Tell God, thank you for that good husband coming my way. Thank you for that good business that I'm going to open. Thank you for giving me that ministry. Saizi, maybe you want to do ministry, but you don't have the courage. Thank God for that ministry. And God will open doors. Na kwanza kazi yake ataifungua raka sana than the things of the world. Start believing in what God says about you. Oh, Father. Father. God, it is a prayer that may God give us the strength and courage to believe in his promises. So, I just want to close by saying, you are not created to beat and pull against the stones and rocks of life. You are created to move the stones and the rocks. Aoku no God created you to command those stones to move you've seen it in the book of Matthew Matthew, 20, Matthew 17 20 Matthew 17 20 Matthew 17 20 it says he replied because you have so little faith I tell you the truth if you have faith as small as a, as a mustard seed a small thing if you have faith as small as that, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So let us have that faith. And also I want to encourage you, you are not created to be tossed around aimlessly, whichever way the wind blows. No. God has a path set before you. It is only for you to have faith and open your eyes and wait upon him. And you shall see the path that God has created for you. So let's all renew our minds. 
live in the full strength of God because God wants to transform you and God wants to change you and also God wants you to soar, to run harder, to fly higher and to move faster than ever before. Let us all pray that God may give us confidence in believing in all the promises and the good plans he has for our lives. I hope you've been blessed. Personally, I've been blessed.